I will tell you what I'm doing right now as I'm waiting to hear back from the board on whether I can move forward with testing as a journeyman or a master electrician. It starts with brushing up on your knowledge. So right here uh, is a 2014 NFPA 70. Now, the reason it says 2014 is because we're going to get that to that in another video. I ordered these books a long time ago and I tried and I was just confused and I didn't understand. But I've been practicing with this book to test my, my skills as far as sourcing the information. A large part of this is not knowing all of the information off top but being able to find the proper information as you need it. Because as a master electrician, you're gonna have to know how to source through all of your information. Step two, it is also very confusing on what books you should buy. So with that being said, I had went to the library first. Go to the library first, it is free. You may find some things that can help you. I found this. I don't know how old this book is, but electricians licensing exam. This is a source that has, you know, questions, reviews on things that would be into the in the test. A lot of the test uh, information part of the same electrical code, the NFPA, the NAC. It's it's a national electric code, so you can use a lot of these resources to practice. Uh, this is a good one. This is what I'm learning out of now. Teach yourself electricity and electronics. So you may work on a specific type of electricity. You may be indoor. You may be outdoor. You may be industrial. You may do line work like I did. I did distribution line work. Uh, you may do substation. You don't know everything about electric uh, electrical work. It's a good chance you may not really even know how electricity works. I think it's very important to brush up on the process start from the beginning this book starts with atoms i've been studying about atoms this week and, and what role they play in electricity and is understanding how atom works 100 percent necessary in this no but the first word in master electrician is master and i think you owe it to yourself to try to master the craft because if you master this there's so much more you can do with your skills if you only learn how to set a pole and attach some equipment to it and some wires and run a wire that would limit you to just being a laborer who works in a dangerous job but if you master electricity you know how it works you know how to troubleshoot problems you know how to fix things and build build things and and even being innovative because right now it's going to pay to be innovative this is a very key time to understand renewable energy fiber optics telecommunications and that can take you a lot further if you master your craft so that's like major game and i think a lot of what i'll be talking about is the opportunities moving forward in this trade because things are going to change and we have to be ready for change it's a lot of automation coming there's new devices that will require you know your electrician or your lineman or your journeyman to brush up on the skills to keep a good job you have to keep with the times so it's not just about learning the old stuff but it's going to be about applying how does it work with the new stuff uh, currently, I'm in school. Uh, I'm studying economics at Miami Dade College. I plan on figuring out how should I move forward once I get to uh, the next level. Miami Dade College is a two year institution. Once I graduate from here, which will be soon, I'm either going to further study economics, maybe I'll get into electrical engineering, maybe some combination of both. But it's important that you advance and get ready for the changes. But I definitely uh, suggest you should understand the technology and the requirements 
moving forward for systems like AI and autonomous driving and EVs. These are going to be your bread and butter moving forward. Last but not least, do not run from this. A lot of us run from this. You made so you made it. You made it out of high school. You got your diploma. You found a good job. You're an electrician. You're one of us. You're one of the guys. You never have to study again. Great. Can you stay where you are and have a great career? Maybe. But an investment into this right here will make your life a lot easier and make you more valuable. And that investment starts with understanding the basics. I just told you I'm learning about atoms. I'm starting with math. Again. Nobody likes to do algebra, but it's very important to understand these calculations. Then you maybe you want to move into physics and, you know, you've, you've been an electrician or a journeyman so long. Wouldn't it be great to also be an engineer? You got, you got to think about that. Wouldn't it be great to have all of those skills in one? And don't forget, let me see. Uh, business. I, I don't know where. I don't know where my business book is, but you have to understand business, too, because you can be the greatest electrician in the world. But if you don't understand how to run a business, you won't be in business. Some of the best businesses, some of the best GCs, some of the best electricians, some of the best plumbers, some of the best mechanics. They're not great at actually doing the work. They understand the work and they understand how it applies to business and they know how to run a business. You may look at them and say, well, I've seen him work. He's not the greatest, but he understands how to run a business. So you want to make sure you know how to run a business as well. With that being said, this is the first episode the next episode, we're going to go through what does it take to start the application, finish the application and submitting it. We will be doing it by the Miami-Dade County st standard. I would assume it's very similar everywhere. Some places is going to be a little bit easier. Some places is going to be a little bit harder. Some places it's going to be more expensive. It's going to be less expensive. The requirements may vary, but typically it's all going to be the same. But don't let that stop you. Get ready to move forward and join me on this journey as we become master electricians. See you soon.